Today we're going to do a little shooting with this uh, Serbu Super Shorty 12 gauge. We're also going to compare some two and three quarter inch buckshot through this double lock with some of the uh, uh, short shells double lock buckshot. I also have some shorty shells uh, in slugs, but I could not find any uh, two and three quarter or three inch slugs to compare. So we'll we'll do a pattern test on this first. This holds uh, one in the chamber, two in the tube of two two and three quarters. Uh, let's shoot this and see what happens. Now let's throw in a couple of the uh, short shells and do the same so we just thing. shot the the more conventional two and three quarters double lot buckshot to see how it patterned out of that short serbu now we're going to try some agila i think that's how you say this these are one and three quarter inch double lot buckshot you can kind of see the the size comparison here quite a bit shorter these you can fit two in the tube and one in the chamber with that shorty with these you can fit three in the tube and one in the chamber but in order to get these to cycle correctly you have to use this little rubber adapter this is called an opsaw adapter and they work in all uh mossberg pumps i don't believe they work in remingtons but mossbergs they do and they will allow you to cycle through these let's see what kind of pattern we get with these uh short shells uh oh it did not cycle I seem to be shooting quite high with this little thing. Uh, let's put a couple slugs through it, the little short Aguila short shell slugs, and see how they hit on this. Right now, I can't tell on the spread pattern. I have to get those back home where it's not so windy and cold outside and, and take a good look at those. But uh, let's see what it does with the slugs. Those shot better. Uh, as you can probably see, there's some malfunctions going on. These short slugs, even with the opsaw piece, don't want to feed great. So we're going to break out a Mossberg 88 and uh, run kind of a similar test through and just, just see the difference between a, a full-size shotgun versus this little thing here. So now we're going to do the same thing with this Maverick 88. We'll run a couple of uh, two and three quarter inch double lot buck shot through see how they pattern and then uh we'll do the same with the, the double lot shorties and then a couple slugs as well just to see how the two guns compare with the same ammo let's see what it does that feels much better now we'll run a couple of the uh, Gila short shells through, double lock buckshot through this Maverick and see what a difference it makes for that. All right, let's run a couple slugs of the short slugs through and see how accurate those are. Oh, ooh, you like that flinch too? All right, so we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're done with the paper targets. Got a couple reactive targets over there. Uh, I'm going to shoot the yellow Fanta with the one and three quarter inch Aguila short shells, double lot buckshot. I'm going to attempt to. I'm not real accurate with this one. And then on the red Fanta, we're going to use the Fiocchi double lot buckshot, uh, two and three quarter, if I can hit it. After all, my name is the average dude. And if you were tuning in expecting above average shooting, you're probably sorely disappointed at this point. But let's see how this goes. Dang. Hey. 
and that one jammed. Well, that one and three quarter inch jam, uh, they're not feeding great. And that one just had a failure to eject. And I missed the target again with this little gun. So we're going to put the Fiocchi in and try again on the right one and see what happens. I give up. <laughs> All right, we're going to try this with a different shooter. This is my brother, my youngest brother, my baby bro. Uh, he's going to try to show me up. We're going to do the uh, the yellow Fanta with the one and three quarter inch uh, Gila short shells and the red Fanta with the two and three quarter inch Fiocchi. If he can hit it, I failed terribly twice. So let's see what happens with this. He failed to. <laughs> All right, we retired that Serbu because at 10 yards, we cannot hit two liter drinks with it. That's terrible. I'm going to blame the gun. I'm not taking any blame for it. Uh, uh, so let's try it with the more uh, conventional 12 gauge and see if we can do that. Again, the yellow Fanta bottle with the Gita short shell and the red one with the, uh, the Fiocchi two and three quarter. If I miss this, I'm just packing up and going home. That was more like it. So what we're going to do now is uh, I got the Gila uh, short shells. These are the slugs. Let's put a couple slugs to those two liters and see what they like to do. That was pretty cool. <laughs> We're going to try to catch one of these little Agita short shell slugs and see what they happen to look like. <laughs> One more try. <laughs> All right, so now I've moved up a little closer. Let's see if this thing continues to hurt my feelings. I got it that time. So now what I'm going to try is... This is full of the Ag Aguila short shells. Uh, I was able to fit eight of those in the tube. I have the Opsol piece in. So I'm gonna kind of get a shoot all eight of these at this target, see about accuracy and see if all eight of these will function without a problem. Let's see what happens here. Ooh. One malfunction. Didn't want to feed. On the last round. I would say the accuracy was pretty decent though, but still, even with that adapter piece, they're not functioning like they should. 